right at the moment uh, if my character is crouching it doesn't make any sound but if i stand up you can see they turn to this side the reason is when i stand up uh, there is a footstep sound is being played so actually the problem is like i am not considering um, when i make the footstep noise i am not considering if the character is actually moving or not i just consider only the character's gait the moment is state whether it is standing up crouching or sprinting so what i want to do is i want to make the noise range dynamic if the character is sprinting or running uh, it should have a higher range of the footstep sound so it will be hearing to further away characters if it is just walking the distance should be minimum should be uh, reduced uh, less compared to running so to do that here in the footstep anim notify I call this footstep uh, function actually this will be called regardless of regardless of the character is walking more crouching or anything so I have implemented that in here footstep where is it I implemented it in the base character sorry ah it's here already open so yeah so here I just play I just call make noise and that's all so I am only considering if the character is crouched or not so let's get another parameter let's get uh, character movement speed the current movement speed which one shall we use this one? Oh, i think i can use this to get velocity this one yeah this should work uh just to check shall we print the oh, i only need to test this for the player character so test if this is his player control if yes I'll print the velocity because since there are other characters in the level as well I don't want to uh, print the speed of other characters so it is harder for me to identify which character is printing at the moment into the screen so we need to get length length hmm. right so this will return the magnitude or the speed magnitude of the velocity vector means just the speed let's see now you see it's zero when you crouch it's 190 oh he saw me if I'm walking it's 
so here even though okay, uh, let me start from the beginning let me place the character somewhere further away now you see zero is being printed into the top left that means still a footstep sound is fired but we don't have a speed uh, oh wait what if i am walking is 375 if i am sprinting it's 600 something if i am walking it's 175 okay so uh here i don't need this part anymore so as i said uh let's get velocity vector length and if the character is not in crunch this is the parameter we get so here instead of using one i'll divide this value by let's say 300 max range is 500 so let's put this as the loudness so that means if if the speed is less than 300 then we will get a uh, range uh, let's say our speed is 100 or 150 then the max range of the loudness would be 250 so like that so when if we are not uh, not moving but just standing up and sit down then it wouldn't make no noise at all to test this let me walk up to here where there is a stationary enemy so even if I stand up here now he don't hear anything see right. but if I walk he hears great if I run so but if I run uh, since the speed would be larger than 300 uh, I will get the max range 500 but I don't have a way to I'm not sure if I have a way to visualize that but you get the idea so that's basically what I'm doing here <coughs> defining the range of the noise based on the character's speed uh, right one more thing I forgot to mention last time is uh, in the behavior tree uh, when the character is uh, searching the last heard position here I have enabled observe backboard value tick so the reason to do this is so when a character is moving to noise location if this is not enabled let's say when my character is here uh, let me demonstrate that go here so I have disabled observe blackboard value so if I make a noise here now this is the location the character heard that I make the sound so now if even if I move character is still looking at that location he is not looking at the updated location of the noise that I made so I made a noise again he will come and search here but still that's that's the case so what I need to do is observe blackboard value observe blackboard value tolerance so uh, what this does is if I have enabled this if this noise location is changed while the character is moving towards this location uh, the character the AI character will change its destination he will come to the updated location that's the significance of that value let me demonstrate it again here yeah. so I'll first he hears the sound here if I run over here 
I think he should yeah he's coming to this last third location so he's dynamically selecting uh, the location he heard me heard the uh, footstep sounds all right so this is a fairly simple episode so I'm gonna stop here now and in the next time I'm gonna implement a way to allow NPC characters to distinguish the types of noises for example if I make a footstep sound that shouldn't be something serious so it's like a minor disturbance but if I make a gun sound it's a major dis uh, disturbance they should like get ready to fight and run towards whatever the location they heard the gun sound expecting a fight so I am going to implement a way to distinguish those two types of noises in the next time and thanks for watching as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page and if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.